I don't make love. I fuck. Hard. There is toothbrushes that were brushing in places. How about some uh, maple syrup rubbed all over your boobs here? What happens behind closed doors stays behind closed doors. We, we all know that if animes don't have a beach episode, they have a bath episode. The last one I saw was the one that had the boob tree. Cool anime stuff with ninjas. Oh my god, it's amazing. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Pseudo Random Podcast. I'm your host, CJ. Um, here with me are our, our three usual uh, co hosts. We have Dan. Hola, hola, to the main. We also have Roberto. Hi. And Clucker. What's up? And today we also actually have a special guest. Uh, this is our, our good buddy from uh, college and stuff. Uh, Sean, also known as Roy Shadow on Twitch and a few other places. Hello. Say hi. All right, cool. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about what this is for those of you who don't know what this podcast is it's a, a podcast about anime and manga we it essentially works like a book club where we recommend stuff to each other and watch it and talk about it it's pretty simple um as comes with this there is a huge spoiler warning on not only the things that we have for the schedule but generally everything else because we typically you know talk about stuff and we we sometimes forget it's like oh god this thing happened over here and we can potentially ruin stuff so if that's an important thing for you i'd suggest not listening to this and um or perhaps at least waiting till we have annotations showing like um on the on the blog like where we're talking about certain series so um what we're going to be going over today is um saber marionette episodes 14 through 25 then um, after that, we're going to be talking about other anime and manga that we've been watching and reading throughout the week. And then we are going to our random topic of the day, which today is how has watching anime with friends affected your enjoyment or perhaps made it worse or something like that and made it not as enjoyable or something. So, um, yeah, and also at the end, we're going to be talking about uh, since we're at the end of our schedule for uh, or our round here, we're going to be talking about our schedule for the next coming weeks. So, um. Yeah, cool. Um, um, one thing I'll go ahead and say, I don't believe uh, Sean has seen much of this, so he'll probably try to interject when he can with Saber Marionette, but not a whole lot, perhaps. So um, we'll, we'll more get him talking a lot more in the, the later sections here. But uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and start talking about uh, Saber Marionette. Um, so yeah, Roberto, let's, let's get you to qu- give a little quick description and start off the conversation here. Sure thing. So Saber Marionette is about this planet called Terra 2 that was essentially a planet for terraforming from people from Earth but the ship that was supposed to do it crashed on this planet and there was like six males and one female but only the male survived and they started this whole colony of males only so to keep themselves you know busy they made female robots to keep them company <laughs> quite literally busy yes so, and we, we're down the line in history, like a few hundred years since that. We, with our main character, Otaru, you know, special main character, he finds special robots that companion him, Lime, Cherry, and Bloodberry, and their adventures. Which are kind of boring, but you know, whatever. <laughs> well, I mean, we had more things this time. Well, yeah, there, there the was actually half. some plot development this time, thank God. Yeah, I do think there the second was. half was better than the first one. I will say, though, I had some problem going through everything this week because every time I went to watch the show, I would fall asleep on the first episode. And that was, <laughs> I'm actually serious about it. Like, this show has been very effective on helping me get my sleep schedule sort of sorted out. Um, <laughs> but also, <laughs> yeah, cop or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, so but, it, is, it is good for something then. That's, that's awesome. Yes. Glad to hear it. <laughs> but I'm actually specifically talking about, like, the very first episodes of this half. So episodes 14, 15, and 16, I think, which were just, like, very random, just exotic little stories and everything. There's one of them where they're just, like, going to a competition yeah, or something. Why, why the fuck was that competition there? That was pointless. We did not need yeah. that. <laughs> I got so exactly. mad. I was like, no, I already hate this. I don't need to be watching this shit with them doing a fucking marionette competition. Fuck this. Yep. That was one of the ones where uh... I fell asleep in. But eventually I just poured through everything, and uh, it got a little more interesting towards the end, so... Well, yeah, like I was hoping it was going to get more interesting towards the end. It was getting uh, scary there for a minute. Getting, man. That thing was just... <laughs> fuck. That, well, essentially I'll put it this way. With how it ended up turning out with um, the end and actually doing some good plot development and everything, for me it bumped it up from a roughly 3 out of 10 to just barely like getting a 5. It's like, okay, it's, it's okay now, but that's about <laughs> it. 
because there ended up being this stuff where it's... they had to go save the last female from the ship because she didn't actually die and a bunch of other shit. Right. So it was average. Yeah, pretty much. I still can't enforce enough how much I actually liked Hanagata randomness in this yes. <laughs> part of the series because they'll go like a lot of times they'll go like 15 minutes with sh- without showing him at all and just showing the main character and the three marionettes going on an adventure or doing whatever and then out of nowhere he would just show up in there and be like oh yeah we should do that or something and they would just kick him away like to, to the sky and then he'll be gone for like another 15 minutes or something but anyway I, I just thought he he was kind of a, a good comic relief to, to the series for the most part. A series that was supposed to be comic for, I think it was a series that was supposed to be uh, kind of ninety percent comedy, although it failed to achieve most of that at some points. Yeah, because most of the comedy wasn't funny, and if your comedy's not funny, you didn't make a good comedy. <laughs> right. I will say that uh, I was surprised with uh, the character of Tiger, or they I think they pronounce it Tiger or something like that. It's, it's Tiger. It's it's supposed yeah. to be Tiger. Yeah. Yeah, just Japanese can't pronounce English names, I assume. But um, th- her whole story with Faust and everything, I actually quite liked that. I, I, I just, I, I had, I was not seeing any kind of development coming from from those characters anymore because of just the way it had been so far. So just seeing that she had that backstory with Faust and kind of explaining why she was attached to him in that way, kind of helped me a little bit uh, understand her her character a little bit more and appreciate her character a little bit, bit more. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely that that. That helped give them give give the other side because it was they're they're the bad guys that side is and it it helps give them a little more of the like wow they're they're kind of people too and everything and how he started breaking down at the end because of all this like it it made them seem more human which was pretty important right. to the plot in my opinion sure yes let me see we also had the death of the shogun of Japanese which was the the old guy I forgot his name out but everybody Tokugawa called him yeah, shogun or Jan or Gramps yeah. it didn't really matter. Well, yeah. yeah, it's actually an important name. He was the the first shogun of the unified Japan in our actual history. Oh, well, oh. fine. Thank thanks for proving me wrong there, Roberto. And making me look like <laughs> a <fucking> dick. Yeah. <laughs> Roberto is the historic specialist of the podcast. So. Yes, he brings insights into actual history. We're on just talking about stupid anime. Yep. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, that part was actually quite sad. I think not not that I cared enough for the characters to actually be that into it, but uh. Uh, they they did kind of an okay job setting it up, so I was like, oh, okay, this is kind of sad. And then somehow they transferred their brains or whatever. There's, it, they transferred their memories and thought process to the marionettes that worked with them. That was so weird. That that seemed like such a cop yeah. out to me because they were still important yeah. and they were just like, shit, how do we fix this? They transferred their consciousness to these guys. We're done. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah. Uh. God. I was just slightly surprised at how like they actually treated the like they in a way they kind of treated it as if they were still alive when nope they they actually died just like those marionettes now have their memories in a way so oh god we we don't we don't need to go into the whole like fucking psychological stuff with all that that we we can be going on that for hours <laughs> yeah yeah oh I, I just remember I'm sorry I know you want to talk can, can, go ahead go ahead oh, you can like, try to talk for a long time I was pretty much done go ahead Dan. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I was just going to say that um, one of the random episodes as well that put me to sleep, I just remembered it now, the Squirrel episode. Oh, Focus yeah. Up yeah. With that. <laughs> that that was actually one of the few that was Lime-focused that I somewhat enjoyed, because okay. it's mainly for bad reasons, because there, there were a couple times, like, the, the one time whenever it was sick, like, I thought it died and everything, I was like, it, it makes me feel like a terrible person that this happened, but I was just not enjoying the anime this much where it was like it died and I I kind of laughed. I was like, oh, she killed it. That's kind of funny. And I was like, no, it's not. What's wrong with me? God damn it. <laughs> it just made me immediately feel like a terrible person. <laughs> oh, You're a terrible uh, person, CJ. <laughs> I know I am. Uh. So I like how all the countries were like really stereotypical. Oh, like America that... was New Texas. Yes, that was like This cowboy. <laughs> And in China was obviously like big buck teeth and Fu Manchu. I guess this was before the time of like everything has to be politically correct or something. Oh no, dude! Yeah. Japan's always racist. It doesn't uh, matter. Did Did you not see old Gundam where they had sombrero Wait, Gundam? You You know who you're talking to, right? I know who I'm talking to. <laughs> that should I know answer exactly. your question. I know. All right. You're talking okay. to the person who's been telling me. 
for like months that he's gonna tear apart one of my favorite series just because he happens to have mechs in it from time yes, to that time. is the only reason i'm not kidding when, honestly <laughs> the series is not even about the mechs at all they just happen to be there because they're in the future and i think japanese people think the future means mechs so i don't know probably they'll they'll be cooler in real life fuck the anime that are based off of it though it's boring <laughs> <sighs> anyway, anyway we, uh, well, I, was, I was just gonna say I'm, I'm kind of curious for because we never actually had this before so so sean since you're you're an outsider here out of what we've been talking about what kind of questions do you have about this right now i bet he's not paying attention at all by the way <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't entirely say that but uh <laughs> entirely being the key word there yeah i, yeah. I did kind of get sidetracked <laughs> by something um well, the thing is that I don't know, it's because of the fact that I know really nothing about, <laughs> about, well, yeah, what you guys have been talking about, I don't have many, it's, it's just <laughs> mostly something. just like a, I wonder what they're talking about, kind of like, in, I guess it's like, for me, thinking like you guys, it's like an inside joke kind of thing. Right. But yeah. Uh, I totally expected him to say something like that, actually, because I, I, I'm also in a way where, when I start hearing people talk about an anime show that I've never seen or never not anything about i kind of just turn my brain off and don't pay much attention <laughs> i've right. i've actually done that in this podcast a few times where <laughs> i've nice listened stance. back to it yeah i've listened back to it when i was editing i was like holy shit roberto totally explained what air gear was in episode six and i missed it and i asked what in episode seven again <laughs> so sorry about yeah. that i didn't notice that i, I miss a few things from time to time <laughs> um well so, yeah it's just like I, at one point you guys are talking about like a, tournament i believe and i'm just like wait what oh, oh. okay so so, <laughs> so, so, so now i know there was a tournament in this anime <laughs> what what that was it was pretty much like miss america or whatever with all these marionettes which are the robot girls and shit mm -hmm. it's it's completely <laughs> episode pointless. pretty much yeah. interesting it all was right the most wasted episode that i have ever like seen in the show because <laughs> this show already has enough wasted bullshit time this this series could be compressed to about four episodes probably and it would <laughs> be good i would enjoy the fuck out of it four gotcha. episodes long <laughs> <laughs> well because it kind of loses its effectiveness when we're we're marathoning it it's definitely intended to be like a weekly thing yeah because they're they are, they are pretty episodic for the most part and I, I will give it that when I was, like, I did watch most of it today. I marathoned through, like, ten episodes today or something. But I still had other stuff to do. So I was mostly doing other things when I was kind of watching it on another screen. And I didn't pay as much attention to it as they probably would expect me to. So I, I can see why, how that's... And the same thing happened on the last episode as well. Yeah. But I don't know, like, there, there just didn't seem like to be enough content in there for me to even justify paying much attention yeah, that that's actually one thing that happened a few times with uh with Steven who here, who for those who don't know he's my roommate, um like he he would come through the house while I'm in the middle of watching it and stuff, and I wouldn't even pause it. I'd just let it keep going and glance at it every like two or three minutes while we're talking and still fully understand what's going on and like not right. have missed anything important or anything at all really. Right. I'll miss some of the dialogue that I fucking can't stand, so okay, cool. Uh also talking about pointless stuff happening in the series. I I may have missed something, and I do want you guys to kind of stick with me for a little bit while I explain this. But uh, so we we did see the whole Faust uh, thing with Lo Loderai or something like that, which was the the girl that was on the ship with him. It turned out to be alive all this time, just she was being kept inside the ship because the ship developed this personality, or whatever. But anyway, Faust was in love with her, and he did say that his whole plan all along was just to save this girl right everything that he did throughout the different generations was because he wanted to get back to her right yeah so how does that justify him like attacking the the other countries and everything like how does how does that have anything to do with him being that, that view her figure and trying to conquer everything in the in terror too uh i i guess i can i can put together a couple of people's fucking like phrases or whatever but uh, I guess it'd come down to, like, love is a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like that's, yeah. that's the only thing I can think of, because it, it'll, it'll make you do crazy and stupid shit. Like, that, right. that's the only thing I can really think of of why he'd do all that. Because the moment they explained that in the end, I was like, okay, so everything that happened in the show up to this point kind of seems pointless now, right? Because everything that he did was for nothing. But anyway. Pretty much. I don't know. <sighs> all right. 
Anyway, are there any uh, final comments or questions or anything about it? They, they did save the girl in the end. They did. They did. That was and, nice. Uh, I kept asking myself at that point, like, this girl is going to be brought to a, to a world full of men. They're just men, <laughs> and she's going to be the only girl. You ready to see where I'm oh, going yeah. with this, Roberto? That scared so. me so much because I forgot yeah. that they were gonna they could just clone her and everything. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I oh wow, that's gonna be a hell of a life for her. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Uh, and then when they went over the fact that they were cloning her, I was like, okay, yeah. not bad. Uh, but um, uh, and also the marionettes randomly like just dying in like sacrificing themselves in the end to save him and, and the girl and then coming back out of nowhere just knocking on his door that was kind of right. weird you know you kind of new too you, you gotta reset it for the new season man you know you know how it is <laughs> uh, yeah there's no need if, for further explanation just reset it if Everybody's they full on like committed to them being just fucking gone they're part of the ship now I would have had more respect and would have bumped it up from a 5 out of 10 to a 6 out of 10 for me. <laughs> it's oh like, man, an entire point. Dude, that's 10%, it's... man. That's that's yeah, a decent chunk. It is. It is abo- It would be above average at that point. Yeah, it, it barely scraped up to average. Anyway, I, I don't really have anything else for this show, cause, except I, I would not recommend it to people. I'm not gonna recommend them, recommend them not to watch it, but I wouldn't recommend it to people. I, it was it was very meh. It's a series so. that it's just I don't know. It might be a series that's more enjoyable when you watch it with people. Who knows? But right. um, oh, yeah. Brett would be really good to watch this with because he's he's really good at like tearing shows apart, and this would be a really fun one to is. watch with him. So uh, I mean I I feel like some animes just shine better when they're watched with people and then other animes are just like we're good by ourselves. Yeah. So this one is definitely the first one where it probably shines a little bit be- brighter when you're watching with people and depending on the people you're watching with watching it with could be could be a very enjoyable series. It's not an absolutely terrible series, but it's one yeah. that needs to be watched with people I feel like. Yeah, and that's um that's something we'll go into a little bit later here with our random topic of the day. So um <clears throat> I think we're pretty much pretty much done with uh talking about this one for today. So let's go ahead and move on to other anime and manga and stuff we've been watching or reading throughout the week. And um sure, let's go ahead and kick it off with our, our special guest here. Uh what what anime or manga have you been watching or reading throughout the week? Um most recently, uh well, actually, yeah, since I had just started back up this week, uh, since I had taken a break to do a couple other things, um, I'm currently in the midst of watching two animes. Both are Slice of Life's. Um, one is uh, Kino, Kinino Mosaic. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. Whatever, I know the second word is Mosaic. <laughs> um, and it's pretty simple. It's about um, this trans... or. It's about, it focuses on these two girls, one originally from Europe and one from Japan. Uh, the one from Japan went over to Europe for, I believe, just a semester of study, and you stayed with the family and all that, became best friends with, you know, the, the host family's daughter there. Uh, and, you know, after the semester ended, she had to go back, and eventually the girl from Europe then travels to Japan because she missed her, wanted to go to Japan and study the culture oh, and all so that stuff. Oh, so it's one of those then. Exactly. You must that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's it's just you know silly fun, all that all that goodness. Um, and then the other one that I've been watching is Yuyushiki, and that one's even more slice of life, nothing really happening than uh, Kinino Mosaic. It literally, just th- three high school girls in what is called the data processing club, which is just. Let's look up stuff online and then document oh what God. we looked up at the end of the day. That's it. That's um, a very like, scary, scary. I'll be part of that. <laughs> this definitely sounds anime. like the most slice of life like anime I yeah, could possibly exactly. think of. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally just people like, okay, they go to school and everything. They get done with the day. Let's let's get on Google see if we could find some yeah. stuff out about <laughs> things. Much. They, like there are a couple scenes where it's just like, oh, like a humpback whale is like this big compared to like a blue whale or something and it's like oh <laughs> okay <laughs> my god and yet for some reason That's... it's like i don't know it's decently enjoyable just because like some of the some of the humor is a bit good um but that's yeah those, those are the main two that i've been watching 
Cool. Um, that, that, that does sound like something that would be a lot of fun to watch just like on your own time whenever you feel like kind yeah, of Yeah, exactly. You know, just like... just something to kind of put on. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, um, I meant to actually do this earlier, but I forgot because apparently I'm terrible at things. But whatever. <laughs> um, I actually wanted to, uh, since since we, this is the first time we've had Sean on the show here, wanted to actually um, perhaps get a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of your anime and manga background, as well as like some of your favorites, so that way everybody can kind of get into a little idea of who you are and what your what your tastes are and everything. Sure, sure, no problem. All right. Um. So I started where a lot of young young teens <laughs> went back way back in the day. Back then, started um, and that was Naruto. Um, I remember because my my best friend back in middle school got like the box set of like the first two seasons and he was all excited he came to school and I was like what is that and then we went to his house and watched it after school and my mind was just blown I was like oh my god this is like cool anime stuff with ninjas oh my god this is amazing <laughs> um, and I kind of got into like some of the super main um I believe they're shoujo animes I probably forget what whatever um but like probably shonen yeah, shonen. yeah that's it yeah. shonen sorry um there's that bleach and kind of, I want to say kind of One Piece, but that was mostly, that didn't happen too much. Um, one Piece! <laughs> we do have a One Piece professional in here. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Um, and yeah, those, those are the main that I stuck with for a while. And then I started getting into other ones. Mostly stuff that was shown on um, Toonami. Like, Zatch Bell, actually, I really enjoyed that. Um, and then others, I absolutely love Zoids, which... Anime oh, cartoon. Zoids was oh, so yeah. good. Yeah, <laughs> I um, missed that one. That's one of the few that I consistently watched on Toonami every oh, week. Oh, yeah. Was, or every day or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. It was Actually, great. I guess if we're going first, like, technical anime was DBZ, but at... Sure. I, it, like, Everybody's when I, seen Yeah, exactly. That. When I first watched it, it, it wasn't anime. It was just awesome. Um, <laughs> Pretty and, much, yeah. <laughs> so, like, I still do love, like, shonen-type animes. It's just, like, I kind of fell out of touch, like... Bleach, I got to the first filler with the bounce and just stopped. I couldn't make it past the filler. Yeah. Um, Nardo, I made I made it all the way through the main series, all, through all the first nine seasons. Got to ship it in, and then um, it was when Guy and his team were facing clones of themselves, and like they were kind of having a rough time of it. And then they kind of stopped because they all had wireless communication. And I was like, okay, perfect. This is when they're all going to tell, uh, tell each other to switch targets because they know each other's weaknesses. And then Guy's just like, I know how we beat them. We just do better than we're currently doing. And I don't know what it was, <laughs> but I guess I was just like, I, I just got so dumb with it at that point. I was like, no, that's it. Uh, was, was that just the nope point? Yeah, like, exactly. Fuck <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's kind of a typical shonen trope, though. Like, just try hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it is like, the most shonen trope. Yeah, it's just like, at the time, I was just like, alright, no, that's, that's it, I'm done. Um... And then One Piece, probably that fell off the fastest because it just, I don't know, it, it was kind of interesting for me, but I also kind of miss, like, I don't know, I think I, like, skipped some episodes for some reason, I don't know why, and then I was like, I don't know what's going on, and I wouldn't even try and pick it up back if I tried, because they're, what, past 600 still going? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, just uh, 600 and only halfway <laughs> through the story. Yeah. So ridiculous. So, um, yeah. So, Sean, um... Now, like, since we kind of see, like, how you started, like, is that is that the type of stuff you've mostly stuck with, or have you kind of branched out, or you kind of have a different thing as kind of your main taste, like, um, I don't know, do you swap over to, like, romance comedy, or what? Pretty much. That's, that's what I found that, that happened. I'm not sure when the whole switch happened, but I found myself less and less watching action animes. I mean, I, I still have seen some, um, though if, I, if you asked me to think of some, I couldn't think of many besides uh, the regular Magic High School Kill a Kill, which oh, Kill a Kill's yeah. great. No, yeah, it really everybody was. should watch that. Um, I I typically hate Shonen and like action stuff, and I fucking mm-hmm. loved Kill a Kill. Yeah, it was it was really good. Um, actually, <laughs> this this happened just this past Sunday. Um, so I guess I could have put that in my anime from the past week. Uh, I had actually never seen Gurren Lagann before. Um, oh, I just I did not either. Yeah, like I I think I'd seen three or four episodes, and then that was it. Uh, I watched both movies this past Sunday. Um, I actually don't think I can love again after watching those, <laughs> but, um, so like, I, I still do love those, but I mostly moved into like romance comedies and for some reason, slice of life, not, not many, but I know like when I watched Servant in Service, that one was just, 
for some reason, it's just, like, the most favorite. And I think it, like, it goes back to kind of what Dan was saying. How It's just, like, if you're on, you know, you have a day, you're not really doing much. It's just something you can just put on and just chill with. Right. Oh, yeah, that one's, that one's great for that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, th- those are my main tastes now. So what, what would you say is your, your all-time favorite or couple if you can't f- narrow it down to one? Um, let's see. I'd say if I had to go top three or tied for <laughs> for first three of them, um, Sakura So no Pet Nakanojo is definitely one of those. Just because definitely good, it really was. Um, I would have to say Servant Service just because of the fact that I just I I did not find really that big of any like negatives for it. Um, as for the last, hmm. It's probably the Monogatari series, because that's the best series ever, right? I have not seen, actually. I need to. Oh, I, I... so that's why it's not your favorite, because you haven't seen it. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, um, I, was, I, I was actually telling myself, I was like, I need to, I need to actually watch that. Oh, um, if you're going to be on this podcast with it, you're going to hear a lot from me. You need to fucking yeah. watch it. All right, then. You're I'll probably definitely on the wrong start podcast, on dude. You, you missed the spree of Monogatari series. You just came in right after the spree Perfect. of Monogatari series because they were like, "Aaron, you haven't seen this. You're watching every single one of them." Perfect. And yeah. we just finished it. So. Okay. Nice, nice. Um, for my last, I I wouldn't really. Oh, oh, what is it? Data. Life. I don't know. Aren't you the one who really likes Hayatena Gotoku or something like that? Wait, what? No. Okay, I messed Hayata up. the Combat Butler. Oh. Yes, that that one's really good. Um, but no, I'd have to say honestly, Data Live. As I've seen I, that. I, yeah, I, I really like both seasons of that. It's I'll, really good. I'll have, to, I'll have to check that out at some point. It has a crazy chick <laughs> yeah. who controls time, and she's the best chick <laughs> of, of ever. Of course, you'd fucking like it if it has a crazy <laughs> chick. Is... No, yeah, she's she's <laughs> legit insane. But that's that's the thing. Normally, I don't go for those characters. I don't really like them at all. She's really good. At being insane. <laughs> oh, you should, if you haven't watched it yet, you need to uh, watch Mariah Nikki. I... Oh, yeah! <laughs> my, yeah, my, my friend Spence has been, like, di- like dying to get me to watch it, and I keep Fucking saying no. Fucking you know, man. <laughs> exactly, oh because you know. You know! Like, it, is, it is, like, it's, it's almost like a case study on, like, <laughs> how legitimately crazy women can be. <laughs> oh, it's it's so good. Oh god, I'm gonna get fucking like destroyed online now because of oh, that. Oh man, that's why we need to watch Black Lagoon. <sighs> I, it is why I need to watch Black Lagoon. But Roberto, we're gonna start that, so it's okay. Maybe, <laughs> probably. All right. So cool. Um, let's go around and see what else everybody's been watching. Uh, let's get Clecker to go ahead and go. What else have you been watching or reading this week? I actually have been watching a lot of a nice show called Clonad. Oh, um, again! You you call that a nice show? It's, it's I mean it can it's, be, but it's, it's usually it's pretty nice. soul crushing. It's not that soul crush. I mean, there's stuff that gets crushed in it, but usually it's not souls. It um, crushed my soul. Your okay. soul. <laughs> um, I've I never have not recovered. finished the series yet, but I have been watching it more. So I'm kind of taking it in pieces. Um, I'm really close to the end. I know it actually doesn't end the way it should. That makes me sad. I wish it got more because I've actually really enjoyed what I've seen so far of it. Um, other words than the Clannad series. Wait, I did hold my... on, hold wait, on. Wait, wait, wait. First, you we haven't have spoiled this. You haven't actually seen the whole thing yet. No, he has. Oh, what? you've just been rewatching it. Yes. You have seen it. I made you watch okay. it. Okay, I was about to say oh, if you. Wait, shit. Did you Sorry. mess up? He messed up. I messed up. Yeah, the wrong name, I done probably. goofed, guys. That's it has expected a C from Quaker. in the first half. It has an L and it has an A. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I knew it. How I knew did something you fuck was, this was up? Wrong here. What's the fucking real name, then? <laughs> Which one have you been watching? Uh, Claymore. Oh, oh there okay. we go. Okay. That makes more sense now. <laughs> C. I told you. It has a C, L, and A. I just took the... I, whatever. It's Anyways, not even close. That word doesn't have an end. You know, for a moment, I was like, I could swear Clecker had watched that. We've been spoiling it for like a ver- yeah, lots that's, of episodes. That's why I was so confused. Anyway, keep, okay. go, go ahead, Clecker. <laughs> Anyways, Claymore is what I've been watching recently. Um, I have not finished it yet. Um, I'm really close. I know the series doesn't end. Um, so I'm interested. I'm kind of sad about that because I've really enjoyed what I've seen of it so far. Yeah, I watched that. I read a couple of the stuff I need to catch up on. I caught up with Bleach, so me and Roberta could talk about that. Um, 
I'm still need to catch up on Fang Shang Ji. I caught. I got to the point where pretty much they ended the war with the nothingness. So that Wait. is done. I'm interested. They ended the war with the nothingness. Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> St- story point. Long okay. story point. Okay. Super long story point. And now they're getting into a fight with the gods again, which is really interesting, actually. I had a D and D character get into fight with some gods before. Like I, know, I have a feeling that these gods were a little bit angrier than your gods. I don't know. These guys literally came down and three of them combined into one deity and attacked me and my party because they were so pissed. If Feng Shangji does that, I will laugh hysterically. Though my I character in this campaign them. was a pretty big badass, so, you know. So, I haven't caught up to that, but I'm close. And then I read a couple more chapters, Kingdom... One Piece, the usual stuff. Um, this coming weekend, I'm planning on going to watch Log Horizon from start yes. to finish. Literally from episode one to episode, I, what, is it 48? Something like that. Should be 48. 50. So it's going to be that or 50. 50 episodes in a weekend. Can Aaron do it? We're going to find out. Why are you going to do such a thing to yourself? Because it's amazing. Because it's amazing. Because he's and I'm living going in a database, to... database. And you're not going to have time, though. I won't. Unless I watch it while we discuss D&D stuff. Or you I can might. just not do anything else over the weekend. Or I could just do what CJ said. I think I you have the right that. idea now. <laughs> you're going to miss building your character. I, I won't because Roberto's the D, DM and he can completely mess up my character if he wants to. Yep. So, he has the power now. But yeah, that's what I did. Sorry, I messed that up pretty historically bad. So, no, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Continue on, CJ. All right. Um, so, yeah, Roberto, what, what have you been watching and reading this week? So, other than my usual weeklies... I watched the high school DXD OVA nice. that came out. Oh, I did what? Ah, oh, I didn't. That was watch another that. one that came out. Really? Darn! I need to watch it. Yeah. I need to catch up on those. The last one I saw was the one that had the boob tree. Yep, that's the one <laughs> I one, saw. What? This one is as ridiculous. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> oh, I'm I so excited that. then. Oh my god, because that that episode uh. was amazing. That Am I supposed to so understand great. what a boob tree means? Uh, <laughs> it's it's a tree tree that, okay, the tree is luring women into the woods so that it can like grab their boobs and suck them off of them and grow boobs on the tree. What? <laughs> yep. Okay. You just need to watch the show, Dan. I'm going to try to take something out of that, CJ, and put it on the beginning of the Oh, podcast. of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> you are. God damn it. Of Let course, me help that's you. why Let you fucking you. ask for clarity. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> so without spoiling it, Go ahead. Let me just say one thing. Pandy Alchemist. Oh, that is God. What? Yeah! <laughs> oh, my God! I'm I'm probably going to be watching this when we're done with recording now. Oh, my God! That I'm, I'm sounds quite amazing. interested. Because <laughs> that uh, show is already ridiculous enough. I mean... Panty uh, Alchemist. Actually, I I need to I need to clarify something real fast. We've, we've discussed this beforehand, so we already kind of discussed what shows we're doing for our next round, but... I may change mine because I didn't think about this. Who all here has not seen High School DxD? I, I think we've not. all seen it, actually. So you've yeah. seen it too, Dan? Yes. Okay. With your reaction, I wasn't sure if you had or not. Okay. Never mind. Because if if one of you, even one of you hadn't seen it, that was going to be my my. I was changing. <laughs> well, what mine. about Sean? I have not I seen sh- it. Well, I mean. I mean, he's he's going to be a, a a special guest every now yep, and then, yep. but not super consistently. So. It's true. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think I'll stick with what I had then. Anyway, so I, did I cut you off, Roberto, or are you still going? I'm good. Okay. Well, we'll move, go ahead and move over to... Who have I not asked? I already forgot. Dan. An extra person screwing with me too much. I'm Dan. sorry, guys. Dan. <laughs> yeah, we'll get Dan to go then. <laughs> did, you for, did you forget my name or something? Okay. Uh, Actually, I'm sorry, but once more, I actually have... Usually last week's I have a little bit of th- things to talk about, but this week I have absolutely nothing because I barely I was barely able to finish uh, Saber Marionette, and that was all I was able to do this week. So it it pained me busy. watching it too. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. We're gonna go to something yeah. really good, and by really good I mean you guys are gonna read Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, and everything's gonna be fine. Uh, all right. Yeah, I I'll probably agree from from like three chapters I've read of it. 
you're probably right. It's been good so far. So anyway, cool. moving on to what I've been watching and reading this week. Um, just just because of how little I've wanted to fucking watch Saber Marionette, I've kind of been just throwing other stuff, trying out new animes and stuff throughout the week to try to distract me every now and then, and like right. make make my brain start working again. And uh, one of which has been it's uh, what's the best way to put this? It's I I kind of when I first started watching it. It seemed almost like a direct ripoff of High School DxD, which I was okay with when I first started watching it. If it was just gonna be a direct ripoff, but it's actually start like changed rather drastically and it's been pretty good. And it's uh, the Testament of Sister New Devil. Yeah. Do you know the Japanese name of that? I. If you don't, I'm just gonna look for it. Uh, give me a second. Because I th- I actually think I might have seen like the first episode of that. Let me find it, it just... on my anime list real fast. Didn't have enough for me to like. It didn't have um, enough to grab me. It's Shin Mai Mao no Testament. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> I didn't. I did not see that. I thought it's it was been. Else. It's it's actually been really good though. I've been enjoying it. Although one of the characters has a little bit too much. Like it's it's a, it's a character similar to the queen from High School DxD, where she's just a complete sadist and everything. And there are certain things she says, just like, okay, you're trying too hard. Calm down. Like, one of the things she says, like, in the middle of fighting someone is, like, um, yeah, keep struggling, you're making me wet, or something like that. Oh. And I swear to God, okay. Dan, if you put that in the beginning, I will fucking stab you. <laughs> That's not going in the beginning. I will I will pull down the post for that. That's too much. That's, that's hilarious. I, I think we should probably give some context to Sean about what we're talking about here, because... Oh, every yeah. Ep- <laughs> every episode of her podcast, Sean, I'm, I'm the, the one that adds, edits the audio, and... We always put, I always put some of the, some quotes from the podcast in the beginning as the intro. Very <laughs> so out of context. Song that, yeah, very out of context oh of quotes. So they've been, they've been very worried that I'm going to make them look, I don't know. Oh no, it's just me. <laughs> you just fuck with me. That's the only thing that happens, Dan. Don't right. pretend like it's not. But you're not he's, putting that one in this time. messed with me a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit. But regardless, yeah, but you're, you're not easy. you're not putting that in there, Dan. <laughs> I th- yeah, okay. uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, the last time you asked me not to do it, I didn't do it. Just so yeah, the last, I know. I think I know. it wasn't the last episode that I edited. There was something that you were like, "Don't put this in," and I didn't. I I got I got something. Else, I so. I appreciate that, Dan. Yeah, and yeah. I'm looking at the poster for the the anime you were talking about. It does look like a straight up high oh, yeah, DxD rip. It looks like a poster. carbon copy from the character designs and everything yes. almost. But well, well, let me let me go ahead and okay explain what it's about. So the the main girl in the middle, she's destined to be the next uh, demon lord. So you know, <laughs> little similarities there. That's why I was like, right. oh my god, this is a fucking rip off. And um, then the main guy. You can see from his like in the in the the poster there and everything. If you're looking at it, he actually yeah, he has this little exactly gauntlet like thing with a sword that yeah. only appears when he's about to attack and stuff, so he can make it poof away and all that. And um, but like, and some of the characters are similar, but really that's where the similarities stop. Uh, at least in my opinion, like it's it's still pretty similar here and there and everything. Some of the premise stuff kind of makes it where it's almost a necessity for it to be similar in certain ways. But what ends up happening is the the girl with the the long red hair. She is destined to become the next demon lord because, like, she was born from the current demon lord, only she was kind of put into the human world, completely unknown that that's what she actually was. She had no idea about it until, like, right before the anime started, and she thought she was just being raised by normal parents and she was a normal person. And now, at this point, there's a lot of people who, or a lot of, or her her dad is dead now, so the demon lord is dead. And there's a lot of other demon lords, demons and everything that want to take over and become the demon lord and all that. But until they kind of get rid of her, it's kind of, it's it's some, I, I guess it's like logistical shit or something. I don't know. But a lot of people are trying to either just watch her to make sure she doesn't fully awaken her powers or to eliminate her and get her, get rid of her so that way she can <clears throat> open her or awaken her powers and take over and everything. And right. Even though the the main guy, the one with like the sword and everything, the the main character is from essentially the opposite uh, people. He's from like essentially the hero clan. I think is what it, one thing is referenced by. He was kind of outcast by him, so he ends up actually taking her in and um, protecting her and keeping her from dying. Because if she ends up taking over as the demon lord, 
the everything like it'll it'll prevent wars from happening because she's not super evil and crazy because she was raised in the human world and all that and she'll pretty much right. be a very neutral person in that position of power so it's right. all about and then him. he probably he probably falls in love with her boobs as well and you oh know. there's some i'm not spoiling any of that you need to go watch <laughs> it because it's fucking hilarious the stuff that happens with that it's actually a legitimately funny anime i've been enjoying the hell out of it um there i'll, I'll just say there's there's a uh master servant pact initiated at some point so. oh okay and i think there's about to be a second one with where i'm at which is All around right. ep- nine or ten so, episodes in. so we're kind of getting into 50 shades of gray territory here <laughs> not, <laughs> no there's not a, there was a master servant way. pact inside high school dxd not like this not one that <laughs> oh. makes you if you if you disobey you immediately pretty much turn about as horny as you possibly can <laughs> oh yeah I'll, okay. I'm I'm gonna stop. You you should just go watch it. It's amazing. All right. It's hilarious. If I, I have know. Time. I know Dan will enjoy the fuck out of this one. Uh, Why me? <laughs> because I know <laughs> your fucking taste, Dan. Okay. Are you trying? Clecker to may get something? uncomfortable in it a little bit. Um, I think I Roberto will it. be fine with it. Oh, it's it's worse than high school DXD. Really? How about some uh, maple syrup rubbed all over your boobs here? Uh, okay. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That one I'm taking out of context, by the way. <laughs> That's fine. I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> uh, and, um, yeah, other than that, that's been the main thing I've really been, been watching and actually keeping up with enough. And, uh, oh, also, new, new chapter of Fuka came out. So I think it was today that it came out. Or something like that. I don't remember. But I read that and I'm still super excited about that because it's, it's pretty much my favorite ongoing manga right now. I can't wait for the next domestic Nakanojo to come out because that right. fucking roller coaster of shit. Like it's it's good. Everybody should go read that. It's amazing so far. At least for the the styles that I love. I mean, hell, I've talked to you guys and probably the I think I've talked about it on the podcast before. Like some of my favorite mangas are stuff like Suzuka and Kimono Irumachi and stuff like that, where it's just like they're they're just. I, I, the only way I can really describe it is it's pretty much a fucking soap opera with the shit that happens left and right. It's it's weird. I've never liked this style of thing until I started reading manga. And it's great in manga. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's about all I've been watching and reading throughout the week. Does anybody have anything else you perhaps forgot during your turn? We could talk about Fifty Shades of Grey if you guys wanted to. No, no Dan. I, I, no. I kind of want to because I want to see Clicker's reactions. No! But... <laughs> no! Did you guys watch it, though? Which one, no. uh, which one of you watched it? I have CG, not. Apparently? I have not read or watched any of it. I do not plan oh, okay. to. I didn't nope. think we should maybe watch it together then when I'm there. No, we could all go no, to the theater. No, that is should. not something this I want to watch with a group of other watch. guys. <laughs> no. I, I, I do think it's actually quite entertaining to watch in a bunch in a group of guys. I did watch it in here with a group of friends of mine. So, Damn. so have you watched it, Sean? Fifty Shades of Grey? No. No. Uh, no. no. <laughs> No. You're missing out, man. I'm, I'm sure you want to watch it with Dan here without you fucking talking. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, no. That's, that's Dude, always it a dream actually, of mine. <laughs> it actually is kind of entertaining. Uh, I do think... Here's the thing. I do think most people hate this movie because they already went to it thinking that it would be terrible. And I went to it thinking it would be terrible, too. But for some reason, like, I actually think it's alright. I actually think it's an alright movie. I mean, yeah, I, I, compl- I, I know the writing's, like, decently okay and everything. It's just... It's not something I I have any interest sure. in reading or watching. Like, pe- people are talking shit about the actors and stuff, and especially the actress apparently. But man, like she got a fucked up role. Like she had literally. to do some silly shit for that movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. literally. <laughs> <laughs> Calm anyway, down, click. I I really like some of the quotes from that movie though. Like there's this one part where she's talking about making love or something with a guy, and the guy just looks at her and says, "I don't make love." I fuck hard. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, I like this guy already. Like, <laughs> uh, All right. Oh, God. Okay. Let's 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 move on let's, to our let's... our next topic here. Um, topic which kind today. of that's actually a decent segue with what you were talking about, Dan. Which is, um, <laughs> how has watching anime with friends affected your enjoyment of it? Um. Oh yeah. man. Let's let's go ahead and hand it off to Clicker since he has quite a oh, quite a nice little God. moment here to talk about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so guys, 
There was a time where I was watching a series called Baka Monogatari. It was Nisei. Ooh. It was Nisei. My bad. It was Nisei Monogatari. And I was watching it, and then I went to go visit CJ and Steven for a weekend, and CJ was like, what episode are you on? And I was like, I think I'm all around, I think I'm like here, and then he got a big smile on his face, and I didn't know why. I was oh, just like, great. whatever, let's watch it. There was that toothbrushes was that were brushing in places that were normal for toothbrushes, but in the most exaggerated way possible. I was freaking out. CJ was laughing his ass oh, off. Oh, yeah, I wasn't watching at all. I was just watching Clacker the whole time. It was amazing. <laughs> it was it was the toothbrushing in Nisei Monogatari. And I don't know why. I don't know why he brushed his sister's teeth. I don't know why she was so turned on by it. But she was. And it baffled me. And it scarred me. And CJ enjoyed every minute of it. Yep. <laughs> It was amazing. I, I find it funny that you brought that up because that same scene I actually showed to a friend of mine who he's never watched Black and Monogat that he's probably never gonna get to watch it, but he's actually a dentist. Uh his his going to college <laughs> should be a dentist. <laughs> and, yeah, he's he's almost done, he's on his last year. So I think I showed him last year and I was like, look, look at this in and tell me what you think about it. And, and like he had the weirdest reaction ever as well. He was like, what the fuck is wrong with those people? Why, why are the Japanese doing this kind of thing? There's no, like, it doesn't make any sense. And, like, he he, he was pretty overwhelmed by it as well. So, yeah. it, it was... Speaking yeah, of that it's... scene, I actually got a... Uh, right before we started, uh, I got a text from one of my uh, coworkers. It was great, because apparently he had just watched this episode right before he texted me. He said, dude... So far, this second season has been nothing but wincest. I was like, yeah, good. I, I just replied with, ah, yeah, that happens a bit. Uh, I got into the toothbrush scene yet and immediately got a reply of, just watched that episode, hence the comment. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's, that's a pretty infamous scene there. <laughs> infamous. Uh, I'd say. So good. But, um, but yeah. yes. CJ got a lot more enjoyment out of that scene watching it with me rather than just watching it by himself. It's still oh. a great scene by watching it by yourself, but seeing people's reactions in when you watch anime is sometimes the best part. And sometimes people just make fun of the anime, and it's hilarious, and you get a lot more enjoyment out of it. I'm trying to think of another series that has happened before. I've actually had somebody... Um... Somebody make fun of it in a similar fashion like that, where it actually annoyed the fuck out of me. Like, um, I forgot who it was, but um, it was actually watching uh, Baka Monogatari, and like we watched like the first three or four before we decided to to stop for the night because it was an anime night thing and stuff. And um, yeah, he ended up constantly making fun of it, and it it bothered me because it's it's been my favorite anime for a couple of years now, probably something like that, and it just legitimately so bothered me. You didn't like when they did that to you, CJ? Then you better know that I'm not going to feel good if you start ripping apart Code Geass, which is one of my favorite anime for, like, years now. So, just so you know, remember how you felt that day, and just make sure you don't want to make your friends feel the same way, right? Oh, it's it's just you, Dan. You're the only one who will make feel that way. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that, that, that's Be just bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's... Uh... Uh... I'm sad now. But, yeah, but just because we're still in the tough brush scene, though, I just want to mention that I did watch that with my sister, actually. I feel point. bad for your sister. Yeah. yeah. But I, I think she was kind of closing her did you, eyes. And, did you? Like, why, why is this happening? Oh, I thought you meant closing her eyes in another way, similar to how, how Karen was during Oh, that. my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But I mean, um, one one thing that's actually funny is the same guy who did that. He's he's actually had several instances where they're they're anime that I just didn't enjoy, or I I did enjoy too. Like either one of those where he's been there and he's just made it so much better and funnier. Him being there because um, one thing that happens is actually two different anime that the uh, this has happened with him where one of them it was actually high school DXD randomly. Like anytime there's anything even semi sexy, there's a dude who just starts going fucking crazy with the saxophone in the background. And like, it's amazing. He, huh. I never noticed it till he pointed it out. And then every time it happened after that, I just started laughing. I was like, yep, there's sexy sax man again. <laughs> <laughs> I never noticed that. I'm going to, yes. I'm going to look for that next time. Yes. And, um, a similar thing happened with, uh, Toro no index. Whenever I was watching that with him, 
for some reason, there's just a dude, like, in the most random scenes, it'll be someone just talking in the middle of a room, or a battle scene, which kind of makes sense then, or someone with a super dramatic thing, and there's a dude just fucking, like, screaming on a guitar in the background. Just, like, get hit a chord, just... And it's just going, like, crazy in the background. It's like, what the fuck? Why are you here? And, like, him pointing stuff like that out to me during, like anime and stuff can make it so much funnier like whenever it shouldn't be sometimes and it's great all right yeah (laughs) so dan has there been a series that you watched with someone that you enjoyed more when watching with them or less or less yeah um i have not watched I, i don't remember watching a lot of anime with friends actually but i do watch very often, I, I actually watch anime with both my brother and my sister, and that can be quite interesting a lot of times. And I do think that with my brother, it's kind of the... Like, he would be sad if he heard this, so we're never going to listen to this, but I think I enjoy it a little less when I watch with him, because he's the kind of very, like... I can say He's very hyperactive, and he can't really, like, stay quiet, so he's going to keep, like, talking over everything that happens and everything, and uh. just moving all the time. Yeah. So I don't like that because when I'm watching something, I kind of prefer to pay attention and just like kind of absorb everything that's going on. Um, and then when I watch it with my sister, it's better because she does make a comment here and there, but it's usually like it's usually something that I agree with or that I would have I would have commented as well. Well, well, my brother is just like I don't know, like he he just says all the random the most random things. But uh, it also happens that I watch some stuff with my sister that I've been very. Not what you should watch with your sister. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because I think the first thing we watched together, and that was right when I started watching anime again as an adult, quote unquote adult, right? Um, that uh, I think I think I first watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and then and, and Clan Ad and a few others, and because I kept talking about it with my brother, my sister got interested in it as well, and so she wanted to watch it, and I I actually rewatched all of Full Metal Alchemist and then all of Death Note as well with her and everything, and. Those were very enjoyable, but because we kind of we we developed a habit of watching stuff together, then I kept like finding new things and starting to watch with with her. And there were a lot of weird things that I probably shouldn't have chosen to do that with. And one of them being, as I told these guys before, Oreno Imoto Konani Kawaii Wakiganai. Also, no, also known as shorthand as Oremo. Yeah, Oremo, uh, which is my my sister. I never realized my sister was this cute or something like that. In name in English. Yeah. It's something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and um, at a lot of, uh, actually at a lot of points, the series kind of hints at incest, and it works in some with some topics that are related to incest, but at the same time, every time they hint at it, they kind of correct themselves and are like, no, no, you know, kind of, at the end of every episode where they were sort of hinting at it, they were like, no, they're just regular brother and sister relationship that love each other, until shit happens, so... Thankfully, we were, I was able to to stop watching that with her before shit happened because I knew what was gonna happen. But yeah. that would have been pretty weird. Uh, let me see what else. I'm trying to think of times that I watched anime with friends. Oh, actually, I I want to point out one. Code Geass, which is one of my favorite series. I did watch that with Roberto for a while because Roberto can probably uh, talk a little bit about this as well. But <laughs> I think I've been insisting for him uh. to watch it for like two years or something. <laughs> I'll, it actually, wasn't that long. Yeah, not that long, but through all the time that I, I knew him, which was, like, I don't know, halfway through college until our final project or something, I was insisting for him to watch it, and he would never do it. He will never do it until there was this one time when I went to his apartment. He lived, like, uh, upstairs. My, my own. He lived in the apartment upstairs of mine, and then I got in there, and I was like, okay, we're watching it tonight. Or maybe he invited me. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I kind of oh, said shit. fuck it. Because it literally got the stalkerish like levels. <laughs> Dude, I, I could legitimately see Dan just like coming to your house slamming and I'm like, fuck it, we're watching it tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, man, calm down. <laughs> I think but I was like, insisting... Go ahead. He'd be so passive-aggressive about it. Like, uh-huh. It's like, so, uh, how about that uh, Code Geass there? You watched it yet? <laughs> And he'd hit me up on Skype randomly in the middle of the night. <laughs> like, are you watching Code Geass yet? <laughs> That's so creepy, man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, you know. So yeah. I just got to that point where I'm like, okay, then, fuck it. Get up here. We're watching this. This better be damn good. <laughs> and, 
And I think he cooked meatballs as well. And those meatballs Did. were really good. Actually, not just meatballs. Roberto cooked us bacon wrapped meatballs, which were amazing. And then we watched Code Geass together. I think we watched like seven or eight episodes in a row or something like oh, that. Oh, so it was like a little cute date night. Yeah, don't, pretty much. Don't hate. Yes, <laughs> don't hate. And watched we, anime. Yeah. We took our relationship to another level that night. So. How do you feel yeah. about this, Roberto? <laughs> I mean, what what happens behind closed doors? Stay <laughs> closed doors. Uh, <laughs> Until pseudo random uncovers it. And anyway, let's let's get Sean to throw some some stuff that he's he's done watching stuff with people or whatever. Uh, um, shoot, think about that. Um, dude, you've been sitting here for like we we've, we've been yeah, on this yeah, topic for like twenty minutes. You had twenty minutes to think about this. Come on. <laughs> I know. Well, like, I have a couple, well, at least one obvious one, which was this past Sunday, because I was watching the Grand Lagan movies with um, a couple friends, um, because that was half the reason I went over there. And, I mean, it definitely, I don't know, it definitely helped during the uh, hype portions. Like, I don't know, it just, everyone's singular hype just resounded off each other and just made more hype. And just, we all got crazy when, like, awesome stuff would happen. who all here has seen Gurren Lagann? Me. I've watched the first few episodes. I Roberto has have seen, everything. seen it. I have not. <sighs> okay. Um, it also really helps when sad things happen. I will not say what. Um, and no, nobody <laughs> oh, watching yeah. this, just nobody watching this, do put any kind of spoilers because no, it's not nice to do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I that uh, I will actually agree with the sad stuff when that happens because. I actually watched both Shuffle and Clenad and Clenad After Story with one of my old roommates together for the first time, both of us, mm-hmm. and right. we we needed that emotional support with each other. Yeah, <laughs> because, uh, when, uh, we marathoned that shit. One of the especially super... Clenad. It was yeah. like three days. We watched all of Clenad and After Story, man. It was it was an emotional three oh, days. Gosh. Yeah, that that sounds absolutely rough. I. Uh, yeah, when it when it hit one of the really sad points in Girl My God, I was I was about to get up and leave, and then it was just like I just felt that just we we were all just consoling each other. <laughs> um, and then I think yeah, one one of the other times that I watched anime with a group of friends, um, and this is during college times. I uh, watched High School of the Dead with friends. Don't know if you guys have watched that. Yeah, I, I really yeah. like it. The I think yeah. CJ's not. It's it's pretty decent, right yeah. Um, it's, but it's one okay. of its one of its yeah. biggest points is fan service, right? It's just so points. hilarious, and um, <laughs> 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 and like depending on what version you get, episode six actually there is an uncensored version, and so it's funny because just watching that with friends is just like, yeah, that's uh, that's, that's, that's those are things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make sure to do hand checks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my oh god, god, I could see you legitimately like doing that whenever you like you see Woom's like, Yep, those are some uh some <laughs> things there. I think <laughs> I'm I'm actually pretty sure I did too. <laughs> and we just started laughing and I was like, Yeah, that's yeah. Oh I'm trying to remember what episode six is, by the way. Is it the one where they're like in the house? In the in the bath, yeah. yeah. That's because right. oh, okay. we we all know I that if animes that. don't have a beach episode, they have a bath episode. Right. <laughs> or Hot Spring, you know. Yeah, exactly. Or, um, or all of them. True. I've seen some that have all of them. Sometimes in the same episode. Oh, <laughs> um, well, I've never seen that. <laughs> I don't I really have. think I've had too bad of an experience ever watching anime with a group of people. Um, yeah, it's like, if anything, it would have been the anime. But even then, like, I think one of the... It, it wasn't really a bad experience. It was just like the anime kind of creeped me out a little. was watching another and uh, oh, that one's man. so good it it yes. really is um up until the end i'm sorry but the end just the end just made me start like laughing so badly oh ah, come on i like the ending i i thought it actually fitted well I, with uh well, I just, everything else but i just think like when everything was going to hell like it just became so that like, that was funny he- yeah. yeah so hectic it was so like the one dude um i think it was yeah yeah he's like running out chandelier falls on him and it's like well he's dead Shows him later. Yeah. He, he actually survives it. Gets up, walks to the door. Door explodes. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. really? Yeah. All, like yeah. whenever everything went to hell in the mansion or whatever, that was pretty funny. Yeah. Like people dying left and right. Yeah. Aside from that, because, though, like it was yeah. really like the creepy atmosphere, and it was it it did really well. At, like just, oof. but uh, yeah, yeah, those those are my experiences with uh, watching anime as a group. Yeah. Well, I know it's creepy. Mirror and the key. 
<laughs> oh, Mirai Nikki? Yeah. No, just yeah, Yuno's creepy that. in that. Yeah. Not, like, the whole show by <laughs> proxy is, but just her, man. Fuck. Uh, she's wonderful. <laughs> she's a nice lady. <laughs> she's a nice lady? Uh, I don't think those are the nice right lady. words to describe it's that kind of character. It's like this book she is. Uh, <laughs> okay, R- Roberto, have we, have we gotten you to talk about it yet? Uh, a little bit with the Code Geass thing. <laughs> oh, okay. But well, other you want, than that... Anything else you want to add? Other than that, I usually tend to make bad jokes. Sometimes people laugh. Because <laughs> uh, uh. you know the thing is, like, I never watch the really ridiculous stuff with people, and I'm watching it by myself, and I'm, like, pointing out all this awesome stuff, and there's nobody to listen to me. Oh, right. my God. I just thought about the best experience I've had watching something with somebody, and it was, like, it was with Brett. It was, like, three episodes of uh, me and him, like, most of the way through Samurai Fominko. Like, the episode where Mr. Justice shows up was, like, the first one he watched with me, and him being there for that made it just exponentially better. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> like, because just the jokes back and forth, and, like, everything we kept saying is like, oh, my God, I hope he does this, and one of them he did, and we both, like, died laughing and stuff, and it was so good. That and showing him still my favorite, like, villain guy that, that was on that, which was Domestic Violence. Like, yes. I showed him that and just watched him like die laughing from that. Uh, but I'm 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 curious because it's actually something that kind of plays off of uh plays off of this question here. Um, have any of you guys actually? Or let me think of a good way to phrase this because I thought about it a minute ago. Like what 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 has been some of your experiences? Because I I know most of you watch anime by yourself typically, and then you'll watch some stuff with people or whatever when you want to show them stuff, but. How many of the animes like you've watched with people for the first time you've gone back and watched by yourself and how was it different because of that was it the same because of like what Sean mentioned with all the hype and everything like how how did that really affect stuff hmm. What's well, usually vice versa for me I, I watch it by myself first and then I get someone yeah, else yeah, to yeah. watch it with me That's yeah, what I'm same. saying I'm I'm curious like if anyone has had the opposite happen like how that affected it Uh I think I just play off more of their reactions and emotions to everything oh, and kind of get that good sense that like oh they really enjoyed that that yeah. was i like that so what about you dan have you had that experience where you honestly i don't think i can remember any time where i've done that because like yes i have watched something for the first time with other people a few times but uh especially with my my siblings and everything because sometimes they recommend stuff to me as well but i don't think i've ever gone back and rewatched something uh after after watching it like that so, what about you clicker um, the only show I can kind of say I've done that with is, actually, I don't know if there is any, I want to say Fairy Tale with Roberto, but even then, I don't think me and him actually sat down and watched, we watched new stuff, but I don't think we sat down and watched old stuff. Um, so I don't think I've ever done that before. I'd want to, but I don't hmm. think I've ever done that before. What about you, Sean? Um... Actually, funnily enough, High School of the Dead was one that I watched first as a group. I didn't see all the episodes. In fact, I didn't even see episode one <laughs> at first. And then I went back and then watched the entire thing. And I found that during when I when I was watching it by myself, it was, uh, I don't know, it was a lot of, well, laughing at jokes that we made when I was watching it as a group. And then also just, I had a lot more just, you know, pensive thought, I guess, about things just as it was just. Thinking right. about, like, it for High School of the Dead's uh, case, just the universe in which it is, um, the particular, like, how they did their zombies, which I found was pretty cool, um, and, yeah, just stuff like that. Alright, cool. Actually, I just remember one that could potentially fit in here, which is actually Kiss Exist, because the first time that I experienced Kiss Exist in a way, it was through my brother's laptop, because he was watching, and he was just like, check this out, this anime is awesome. <laughs> so, I just saw, like, a little bit of it, and I was like, holy shit, I do need to watch that. And then I went to my room, and I watched the whole thing in the night, so. Everybody just heard from, like, uh, from, like, across the room, just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they heard. <laughs> oh my god. No, CJ, I wasn't doing that. I was actually experiencing the universe as Sean was experiencing the universe of High School uh, of the Dead. Sure, Dan. But, sure. Yeah. Cause X says it's hard to experience any other way, man. I'm sure he was hard about something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, god. um that's actually one thing, um I want you guys not not the fucking beaten off thing. It's going back to the, the question I had, like um 
if we can, if, if people remember and everything, we'll talk about it next week. But I actually want to see if you guys, at least for a few episodes or something, go back and watch something that you've watched exclusively with people and try to watch it on your own. See see how much it changes or whatever. Like uh, maybe it has something like what Sean said where he's got different thought process with it and everything. And right. um, yeah, see see if it changes. It changes your perspective on it. Because I've actually had some that I fucking loved. That whenever I went back and watched it by myself, it was like, this is boring, I don't like this show, why am I watching this? And just dropped it completely. And I've had the opposite happen too, where I couldn't make it through it while watching it with people, mainly because people were fucking around the whole time, and it's one that was more serious. And like going back and watching it by myself, I was like, holy shit, this is actually really good. So Something that in- that's interesting about that is that like I almost feel like the fact that we discuss those shows every week in here almost kind of counts as something that we've sort of watch together because we have like a discussion as we watch it and i do feel like that does make a change as well because some of the shows that we did watch in here and that uh i made myself go through and finish because of what we're doing in here i'm not sure if i would have appreciated them as much if i was just watching them on my, watching it on my own and not talking about it like being yeah. very honest like jojo's bizarre adventure if i started watching that on my own there's a good chance that i would watch the first episodes and be like okay it's just generic action show or whatever and stop watching it but because I watched everything because of you guys and talked about it and everything, I, I kind of appreciated it more. I saw what it was doing well, and uh, mm-hmm. in the end, I just I just feel like my whole experience of the show ended up being way better than than what it would have been if I watched it by myself. So awesome. that is definitely Some... a good one to watch together. Yeah, somehow we're actually a positive influence on each other. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Um. So yeah, anybody else uh, have any real? things about the uh or any comments or whatever about the the topic of the day or any other interjections here or there or whatever oh let me see I, I actually think i'm gonna add something else still uh roberto mentioned before how like when he watches something he tries to point out to people like things that he's noticing or something like that and um when i talked about when we we're t- when we we're talking about anime tropes that we hate one of the ones that i mentioned which was actually my main one is just the over fascination with boobs in anime and the whole like the whole situations where the character falls over, like the girl's boobs and everything, all the time. And uh, I think I only noticed that because I started watching anime with my sister. And that she, she would actually point <laughs> it out every time that it happened. <laughs> yeah. She would be like, that's so stupid. Why did he fall over with his hand on her boob? Right? And and that's when I started being like, oh, shit. I've watched like 10 anime where it seemed like that happened. I think that's kind of a, a cliche thing at this point. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. She, she did help point out some of that stuff where I, I didn't necessarily pay that much attention to before. That's something. Awesome. Cool. I'm glad that your sister pointed out that you like watching girls have their boobs cracked <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I think that pretty much wraps it up for the discussion for the day here. Um, so let's go into what we're going to be talking about next week. This is going to be a little bit longer than usual because uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and um, give you guys the essentially it's. It's, I'm not giving you the schedule because I don't know exactly when we're, we, what week we're going to be doing all these, but um, I'm going to give you essentially what we're going to be, what the next series are that we're going to be watching. We do know that next week, though, we already have it, uh, we already have it decided what we're going to be watching then. And um, so for next week, what we're going to be talking about is, I'm going to read the, the English name because fuck reading off that long ass Japanese <laughs> name. It's... um. My mental choices are completely interfering with my school romantic comedy, episodes 1 through 10, which is the entirety of the anime, because it got fucking... First, I think it got canceled or something, and just they just stopped it there. It makes sense, and, yeah. Um, yeah. And then along with that, we actually have a manga for this round as well, which for this we're actually going to be doing one volume a week on it and talking about that at, either before or after the anime. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. But um, what we're going to be reading is Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, which was one that uh, Clicker has been dying to get us to read for a while now. So we'll, we'll be doing that <laughs> weekly as well. And then uh, for the rest of the um, the rest of the round here, uh, let's see if I can fucking read this one right. Uh, next we have Ore Twin Tales Ni Narimasu. Yep. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Close enough. Then after that, we're going to be reading Elfin Lead. Uh Love Chunyubo and other delusions. Code Gias. Hell yeah. The fuck that is. Whatever the yeah. second name part of it is. Then Rumbling Hearts and Outbreak Company. 
and that pretty much sums up our block for this uh, this round, except our wild card, which we haven't decided yet because I forgot to do that earlier. Awesome. <laughs> That's fine. We we just yeah. told them what we we're going to be doing for the next like two months or so. So <laughs> it's like two or three it's... months. Yeah. Then some somewhere in there, I don't know. I forgot where exactly it lands. But we're going to be doing a MegaCon special, uh, possibly if we if we actually are able to get it recorded and have time for it and everything. Yeah. Or we just talk about what we did at MegaCon and cool stuff and everything and. Go from Are we going there. to cool stuff as well? Well, Megacon's cool stuff, so yeah, I'll they have cool it. stuff there. I, I mean, I mentioned to a joke with a cool stuff store. I, 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 know, I, I, I kind of yeah. purposely <laughs> ruined it, Dan. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kind of CJ. drawing it out and pointing out that I completely ruined your joke on purpose. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving on. <laughs> So um yeah that's uh that's the stuff we're gonna be talking about uh, once again next week specifically we're gonna be talking about my mental choices are completely interfering with my school romantic comedy episodes one through ten and Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer volume one um so yeah let's uh, let's go around uh and uh tell everybody where you can find everybody we'll start with our um we'll get Dan to go ahead and go over with the the podcast stuff here and other places they can find us and everything too. Sure. You can uh, find our blog at pseudorandompodcast.wordpress.com. You can follow us on Twitter at pseudo underscore pod. At this point, you can probably find us on YouTube at uh, Pseudorandom Entertainment is the name of our channel. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff in there. Probably a lot of future shows that we should not spoil yet, I assume. We'll figure it out and later. We'll tell them when we're, whenever we decide to put stuff out for everything. Yeah. And you can find us on iTunes as well by just searching Pseudorandom Podcast on your iOS device. And I think that's about it. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get um our guest here to go ahead and tell him where they can find all the stuff he does, his <coughs> you know streaming and all the other stuff that he does. Right, right. Um, well, actually, it's pretty pretty much just uh, streaming either random games. Um, sometimes people give me challenges for games, which I'll do. Um, and then I've also been speedrunning Mega Man Zero, and that's just at twitch.tv slash Roy Shadow R O Y Shadow. Yeah. All right, you got a Twitter or anything else? Oh, anything right, else yeah. Anything else you want to get people to look at? Twitter, Twitter is a thing, especially since that's how I announce I'm going live most of the time. <laughs> um, that is at Nexus99, N-E-X-A-S-99. And then I also do have a YouTube, <laughs> uh, but that I have, I don't even know. <laughs> but pretty much any, any highlight I put up on my YouTube channel is also available on my Twitch channel, so those would be the main two things. All right. right. Cool. Sean's famous, so you can just search for for Roy Shadow in the internet. Of course, and find of course. all the stuff yeah. that he does. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the best streamers out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, and um, another thing here, uh, Dan. While you're editing this, you can take it out if you don't want us to really say it yet or whatever. But um, one thing is, uh, Sean here, also known as Roy Shadow here, is actually gonna is uh, has has joined us as part of the pseudo random entertainment. So we're gonna be doing some stuff with him in the future. I'm not sure what all we're gonna be doing yet, but um. He's going to be on the podcast every now and then a little bit more, and uh, also he's going to have some uh, potentially have some stuff on our YouTube channel as well. Yeah, it'll, yeah. it'll probably be some uh, you know kinky stuff. Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> no! no! All right. Welcome to the team, just, show. Just for Clicker. <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, I, I I did say I wanted to p- potentially play some dating sims, and I, I want Clicker uh, to be part of that. Oh <laughs> yes, please! Oh, I have. Some I dating. swear. <laughs> If we play the one where they're all handicapped, yes, we have. To. Oh, that was so, so good. So good. Either either that or I'll I'll make you play Hot to Full Boyfriend. Oh my yes, god, we should play Hot to Full Boyfriend. Pigeons. I I would say Kato was Shoujo over that, but that's just my opinion. Kato was Shoujo is good though. It is legitimately good. I it's love so that good. Story. Yeah, I finally finished all the paths. Anyway, we we can talk about that yeah, next week, right. or whatever, sometime. Um, R- Roberto, tell them where they can find you at and all the stuff you're on and your name and all that stuff. All right, you can find me. Pretty much everywhere as RJR2992. All right, Clecker. All right, you can find me on Twitter at O-Klecker, uh, O-H-K-L-E-K-E-R, or you can find me on the internet as Boklex, B-O-W-K-L-E-K-S. All right, cool. Um, and yeah, you can you can find me pretty much anywhere, like uh, Twitter and Steam and all that stuff. If you want to game with me or whatever, I am known as Boom Coffee throughout the internet. It's just B O M K or no, fuck, I fucked that up. Fucker, <laughs> looking at your name, fucked it up. Uh, just Boom Coffee, all one word. B O O M C O F F E. So that's where I am, pretty much yep. everything. So yeah. 
anyway that that pretty much wraps it up here uh thanks everybody for coming and listening and all that stuff hopefully you enjoyed it and uh yeah hopefully it'll be uh tune in next week as well thanks bye all right see you guys later see you thank you